order to add some text to this page, we also want to make sure that we can structure the text again. So the first thing we should do is add a div element, which we can then use in order to keep our text elements together and structure them together. So I am going to select the elements and I'm just going to drop a div block in here. And as you can see, I dropped the div block inside the hero section. However, if you now take a look at that page, you might notice that the div block is at a top position in the page. And that's because we manually positioned the navigation bar. Let me give this div block a class. And then I'm going to give it some background color just in order for you to understand where the div block currently lives. Now that's certainly not ideal. Like we need to push this div block down. And in order to push it down, we can apply some styling to the hero image section. So the, the parent element of that div block. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the display settings to flex. And I'm just going to change a line to center and justify center. And that centers the div block in exactly the center of the page. Let's now give that again some normal styling. I'm just going to remove this red background color. And now we can add some elements which we can nest within that div block. So I'm going to add a heading and I am going to add a subheading. All right. Now that is quite difficult to read. So I'm just going to select that div block right now and make the background color of white and we can change that later on again. All right. Let's make this heading text a bit bigger. Now I'm going to select the heading and give it a class of hero heading. And I am just going to change its size to, let's say 100 pixels and its line height to 110 pixels. Let's try this and actually change the text to All right, let's design the subheading before we continue designing the rest of the heading. I added a text block element and I know in the style guide we added a subheading. However, this is a hero image and I want the subheading here to look a bit different. So I'm going to give it a new class name. Let's call that subheading hero. And then in the typography se section, Let's change the font from Roboto to Roboto Slab again and make it appear a bit lighter than normal. And if we change the font, let's say 44 pixels and 50 to height, and then we can change the text slightly. I've pre-written the text here and just preview how that looks. Okay. Now that looks all good so far. However, um, we need to, we need to, uh, space this a bit more like this is squeezed way too far to the left and right hand corner. And obviously we need to do something about the background. So let's go about and giving that some more room. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the hero text strap and I'm going to push everything ever so slightly to the, to the left hand side so that we have some more room here on the right hand side. As you can see, there is a surfer and ideally we want the surfer to be visible on the right hand side on the left hand side have some text. So let's give it some padding and padding pushes everything away from the border. So let's try, how about we try something like 45% that pushes everything to the border. Now, 
the next thing is we obviously can't have this white background. Um, so let's remove that again and preview how everything looks. And that looks already better. We have the surfer here and we have the text here. It's still squeezed too much to the left. And the surfer is a bit too much in the center. It ideally it would be if the surfer would were to appear more on the right hand side. So we have some more space on the left hand side. Let's do exactly that. In order to center the surfer, let's take a look at the image we are using right now as a background image. That's the full image. And what we could do is we could cut off some areas, for example, here, part of the right hand side and part of the bottom, and then move everything slightly ever so slightly to the right hand side by cutting away the rest of the image. And I've done exactly that. Let's take a look at how that would look like. As you can see, I cut, out, cut away some of the right hand side and some of the bottom part. Now I'm using a Mac and I, for in order to cut that, I just use Mac Preview. For Windows users, I assume there must be a similar software on your computer. You don't have to download anything expensive in order to cut these images. Let's change the image we just cropped and make this a new background image. So I'm going to select the hero image and go down to background, select hero and choose a different image. Here I uploaded the cropped image already. I'm going to set that to center. Yeah, no, perfect. Position more to the left. So the sur surfer is on the right hand side as much as possible. And now if we go to preview, this looks already a lot better. The only thing we need to fix is this text. Let's put this more to the right. So we have some room here. It doesn't look so narrow. Let's go back. And in order to make this text appear more in the middle, let's take this hero text wrap and give it a slight padding of say 140 pixels. Now this looks already a lot better. What is happening here? There we go. The only thing is this text is a bit too narrow. So let's just reduce this padding to 40% and check it again. And this looks pretty decent.